Here I will discuss the upcoming short squeeze on AMC and provide evidence that shows short sellers aren't getting out of their positions just yet. Instead, they're doubling down, which, as history shows, usually results in a bigger problem. The article is about commercial real estate, but there's a quote that sums up the short stance perfectly. It stresses that delaying actions leads to worse consequences, which is exactly what's happening with the MC short. Everyone, this is not a financial advice video. In order to understand how shorts are prolonging their positions, let's analyze their tactics. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell. That way you won't miss any of our uploads. Scientific Research Moose incorporated a game called Double Down Never Shut and Never Exit, which mimics the short approach. They prolong their short positions as far as possible in an effort to suppress an MC price, and it's clear from over the years, their publicly reported short interest has skyrocketed from 16 million shares to almost 52 million shares, a significant rise. The short's relentless double down is a dangerous game that will end in devastating consequences, as shown by the astounding 361 per spike in shortfall shares over 18 months, which I see helps tweet to further support. Meanwhile, according to mainstream media narratives, Cineer is being favored over AMC due to its recent double upgrade and the resurgence of movies. However, contrary to conventional beliefs, this narrative fails to take into account the reality that AMC and Cineer both profit from the resurgence of movies. Adam Aaron, CEO of AMC, has been tweeting about the company's bright future and its appealing film slate for the next few years. This outlook contradicts the short thesis, which predicted that AMC's profitability would increase, leading to a rise in the stock price. Recalling past instances where companies' increased prosperity resulted in the liquidation of short sellers, this anecdote Antara Capital's disastrous losses and impending collapse provide a fascinating turning point in the story. This is just one more example of hedge funds going under because of their AMC investments. Recent events in South Korea, where short selling is illegal, have shown the positive effect this policy has on market stability and the influx of foreign investment. The United States could benefit from this policy if it were to implement it, as it could attract significant offshore investment while reducing as the story progresses, it becomes clear that MC has the resilience and growth potential to weather the impending short squeeze, which is being pushed by the short's relentless double down on market dynamics, could soon cause a sharp reversal, forcing shorts to cover their positions and contributing to the stock's upward trajectory. That's all for now, folks. What are your thoughts on MC stock? Share them with us in the comments section. Thanks for watching.